See a GT girl then change your life Change your life I love guy Good evening and welcome to the Malika Ramsey show. Of course, this is the premiere of the Malika Ramsey show. It's our first local talk show and I want to thank you all very much for inviting me into your homes. I am Malika Ramsey McPherson. I have to add McPherson there. Um, for those of you who've missed me for a long time, just a reminder that we're back and we're happy to have you um, invite us into your home. So thank you very much for tuning in. This program will be on every Friday, scheduled for 8 p.m. But of course, you know, things happen and especially if there's a live program before us, we may be on a little late. But we're scheduled for Fridays at 8 p.m. for now. We're just going to start uh, with once per week for now and it's going to be a half hour program. So we'll be spending the next 30 minutes with you and I have a lovely young lady with me for our first program. Um, it's my pleasure to have her. I'm not going to introduce her quite yet because I know some of you may not have seen her in a while. Um, so I am happy to have her on our first uh, show. It's certainly um, a blessing. Um, we want to thank everyone who supported us in beginning the Malaika Ramsey show. Of course, as you know, when you get into a new venture, it's not an easy task. But uh, we have a lot of supporters out there, so we want to say a very good evening to them. And thank you very much. First of all, I want to remind you that for now, this program comes to you with a kind compliment of Spring Fresh Purified Drinking Water, Big Mac on Wheels, that's Big Mac Meals on Wheels, and of course, Design Royals. You'll hear a little more of them about those uh, businesses, those entities, as we continue with our program tonight. But we want to get straight to our conversation with a lovely young lady. I tell you, I told you about that we have in studio. So once again, thank you very much for inviting us into your homes. We'll take a quick commercial break. Oh, and even before we go to the break, let me remind you: on the other side of the break, you'll see me with the mask because we are still observing all of the protocol guide, the guidelines, the COVID protocol and COVID guidelines. So on the other side of the break, you will see me having that conversation with a lovely, lovely young lady, I promised you. And of course, um, I'll be adorned in my face mask. So this is the Malika Ramsey Show. Stay tuned. <laughs> with us and of course we're back 
and it is now time for me to introduce that um, wonderful young lady I told you about. Um, one of the big things for us here in Guyana is music, and we focus a whole lot on our music, and we love our music, and we like to remind the world that we have talented people here. Um, it's not just about the R&B and the pop and the rap and those international artists, but I'm so very, very proud of all of our local artists, and this particular young lady has come from very very far away I remember um, I, I can say this now because people say this to me so I can say I can remember when she was just a little teeny thing a pin not to call her a thing but <laughs> I could remember when she was just a, a, a little teeny person running around now she's big she has a big voice and uh, it is my pleasure um, to welcome the first guest of course this is a start we'll never forget this the first guest of the Malaika Ramsey show Madam Jackie Jacks. Jackie, Hello. welcome to our program. <laughs> thank you. What a beautiful <laughs> introduction. Oh, it's you're, you're, well, you're very welcome. Um, thank you. A lovely spirit, a wonderful spirit. Thank you. And it's wonderful to have you in studio. Thank you. Thank you. All right. The first thing I want to, to, to not just talk about, Jackie is wearing a t-shirt. <laughs> now, the t-shirt, the brand of the t-shirt, the line of the t-shirt in terms of the design is Jack's Apparel. You may yeah. not be able to see it clearly, right, but the reason right. I wanted to highlight that t-shirt, um, Jackie and I had a little inside laughter and inside joke. The intention was for me to be adorned in one of those t-shirts, <laughs> but uh, we're not going to share the full story about that. But Jackie, we're going to, to because, and I know most of you don't know Jackie uh, has a clothing line, but yeah, I she do. does have a clothing line, so it's not only about her music. But we want to start off our conversation this evening on a little serious note. Um, it's yeah. what's affecting all of us in Guyana. It's what's affecting the world. Yeah. Unfortunately, we are, as a, you know, as I told you, you can see I'm, you know, wearing my face mask. Um, we are living in a pandemic. Uh, it, it really is sad. We've lost people. We've lost so many people. But at the same yeah. time, fortunately or unfortunately, some people have gained. And when we hear about artists, local artists like Jackie Jacks, it's yeah. interesting, it's amazing, all of the wonderful things at the same time. But now we wonder how they survive. I yeah. have been wondering how are they surviving because we know people like Jackie would be performing at Mashramani events, um, all the various events people may invite her to. And we can't have those things, at least we could not be have. we couldn't have them for an entire year. No. Things are loosening up a bit. Some people are against that. Some people are for that. But that is not what our conversation is about. Jackie, how as a, a, an artist, a performing artist, yeah. how have you survived with more than a year of a pandemic? You years. can't perform. Um, you have. Uh, let's let's talk about that. How are you coping? Well, now I'm doing very well. Mm -hmm. I'm thankful to Jehovah the Most High God to say that. I am doing well now okay. and it's because of my faith, mm -hmm. uh, my commitment to my mission mm -hmm. because I think it's more than just living life, it's I'm here with a purpose mm -hmm. and I've always been here with a purpose mm -hmm. and having faith has always been my magic card, mm -hmm. my faith is supreme you know mm -hmm. and initially when we had the lockdown I was booked for about five events, I was already paid advance for the Yankee well, all white boat cruise. I had events coming up in April, May, and all of this June of that last year. year. And that was in 2020. 2020. So when we locked down, I also just moved into a new apartment mm -hmm. where I had the space then to record my music. Oh. And because I play guitar, I record music, I paint, I draw, I do so much, so mm -hmm. much that I need my own studio space. Mm -hmm. um, and I moved into a new apartment literally two weeks after the lockdown came. Mm -hmm. So I was isolated for an, about a month because mm. it was very far where I went to live. Mm -hmm. So I was completely isolated. No, I didn't see another person for mm -hmm. a, more than a month. I could, it could have sent me into depression. Mm -hmm. um, the instant loss of that income that I was getting from live shows. And for most artists, a lot of people are, don't, are not aware that live shows is about 80% of the of income you, okay. mm -hmm. that you make because mm -hmm. we make music from many different sources. Mm -hmm. We, I'm sorry, we make money in um, the entertainment business and the music business from many different sources. Mm -hmm. You have live shows. You can be a studio artist where, for example, let's say I, I 
I want to write a song for Destra. Mm -hmm. I can hire you as a singer. You don't have to be a very well-known singer, mm -hmm. but I can hire you to demo the song in the studio mm -hmm. so I can send it to Destra. Mm -hmm. She hears the demo, she buys the song, and you're paid, I'm paid, everybody is paid. You know, so that's another income stream. You have streaming services, royalties from the public performance of music, um, downloads and streaming services and online. There are many different ways. And Guyana's music industry, we're, we're there already? We're that organized? No, and, and not we're, we're not? Not, not even remotely. Oh, wow. Because we still have laws concerning copyrights from the 1930s. Um, is it the 1930s? I believe so, the European Convention. Um, that we s are former, a oh, very former, former, former government signed back then. Mm -hmm. We are still running the industry according to those laws, and those laws are completely outdated. So, if I'm to let's say take one of Jackie Jacks's uh, videos off of YouTube, yeah, and I play it here, and then probably load my program to YouTube, yeah. will there be any penalties? Yeah, there will be it, penalties. And it's a so breach of copyright from the. Uh -huh find that you download it mm -hmm. because a download is what they call a public performance so there is some amount of protection there is some amount of protection um, mm -hmm. in countries that have modern mm -hmm. copyright laws mm -hmm. in a country that has irrelevant laws there is no protection mm -hmm. um, other than let's say a contract mm -hmm. that I wrote with you that bound you to these terms um, we can go to court and mm -hmm. I can have somebody represent my interests. Mm -hmm. But when there are not laws that say you can't illegally download that online without paying uh, a download fee. Mm -hmm. And when you download it, it is registered in the system as a public, as a mechanical royalty. I'm sorry. So back in the days, when the music industry was in its infancy, um, we would have... Vi um, when we had vinyls, people would buy vinyls, LP, and they would play all these different things. So whenever I would uh, write a new record, mm -hmm. right, it would be called a mechanical, I would get paid a mechanical royalty because it was a mechanical process okay. to actually make a new record. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? To stamp or to press a new record. So it's still called a mechanical royalty even though it's happening online. I should be paid that mm -hmm. as the owner of copyrighted work, mm -hmm. the creative work that is being displayed, you know. Um, but again, not having relevant copyright laws. It's a, yeah, it's a struggle. It, in many ways that we are even aware of. All right. Let's talk about some of the other issues. One of the things, well, we're still a bit on the pandemic in terms of your survival. Yes, I was yeah. just mm -hmm. telling you. So I had just gotten this new apartment. So when the income left, mm -hmm. <laughs> I had to... I sat in my apartment for about a month and a half. I cried for a bit. I did cry. I cried a lot because I was so confused. I didn't know what to do, how to navigate in these new waters. And then there was being little being spoken about the artists. Mm -hmm. Even now, I don't hear it in the media. You know, you're the only person so far or the second person so far in the media that has asked me about this. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not very sure if people are aware that an entire industry of people are not are earning. Not earning. But in, in, and in that sense too, you're you're established. Let's talk about what advice would you give? I mean, it, you know, if there's any to give, because again, this is new to the world. This is a pandemic. We none of us saw this coming. But what about those new, those upcoming artists who were just at the, the beginning of the pandemic? They were now on the verge of coming out. You know, the younger Jackie Jacks is now coming out too put their music and so on out there. I, I don't know if you've heard much of them and what advice would you give to them in terms of, again, it's a pandemic, how are they making their mark? Jackie Jacks was able to make her mark outside of a pandemic. I Long just leveraged that, my br so. brand. Mm -hmm. um, because it did affect me. Um, remember, I was already installed in the system collecting income from multiple sources, mm -hmm. especially in the live performance industry. I'm a very demanded brand because mm -hmm. I know how to package myself and I know how to deliver what the people want. Mm -hmm. You know, I put a lot of emphasis on delivering great performances. So imagine that entire 80% of your income being taken. So now I had to live on 20% for about three months. I got into problems with the, with the landlords and because they didn't want to hear it that, hey, we don't care. We're in a pandemic. Yeah, you need to you find it. To pay your rent. You know, um, so what I started to do, and this is the advice I would give to them, I started to leverage my other skills. Uh -huh. um, I'm an artist as well, a visual artist. I wrote Art for CXC. You know, um, 
and I took those skills I've been drawing for a long time I never stopped drawing because it's a way to release a lot of tension mm -hmm. so I was like hey I could draw so I started designing some masks I would sell them for five hundred dollars raise it to a thousand when I got a better quality mask mm -hmm. and then up to two five people my fans were buying my masks you know mm -hmm. everywhere I went I would tell people hey I got these masks for mm -hmm. sale mm -hmm. from masks people started to request paintings so I started to sell paintings and then in August I had the bright, well, not just the bright idea, but I had the opportunity to perform at Emancipation last year, mm -hmm. and there was a... This was a virtual something. It was a virtual concert. Mm -hmm. It was held at the Cultural Center, and we got, you know, to perform. And I wore my first Jack's Apparel t-shirt. It's the Queen Things design that you have. That one, yeah. you have a new one. Yes, that I have. Viewers, yes, I do have it. <laughs> <laughs> and I wore the first t-shirt, and then I went on social media, and when you are in a certain mindset and you're prepared to work work finds you so when I came out and I said listen I'm putting my brand out here I'm ready to sell the next week I was contacted for the inauguration ah, so when I that's a <laughs> lovely song that song that Guyana us, yeah. but we'll get to that I, yeah. I know a lot of the viewers they also love that song <laughs> well they also love your version of that song but we'll get yeah. to that Go ahead. yeah so I took advantage of those two opportunities what, what that were promotional opportunities mm -hmm. Um, after I performed at the inauguration, that it, that experience was filmed to 20,000 odd people. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people were on my page. I think I gained 3,000 followers from that event. Mm -hmm. And so I put my t-shirts up and all the designs. Mm -hmm. And I, the first month, I received about $144,000 in sales. Mm -hmm. This is in August in the pandemic. So I set up my business in a way where I'm drawing designs. I send it to the printer. I email it to her. She prints and presses. We have a, a, an official T-shirt we use. She prints and presses, sends it in a taxi to a pickup location so the customer can send the MMG money to me or they can go and pick up, pay down at the location and they just go and pick up two days after we finish pressing in bulk. Mm -hmm. So I was able to create income from another skill that I had, leverage my brand, you know, make it fit in line with my brand because, you know, people know that I represent black excellence. Mm -hmm. So... Yes, my line is about black well. consciousness and that's the prince on your t-shirt this is the black prince t-shirt every design has a name and it has a consciousness attached to it you know the one that you bought was the queen things and that's for the queens mm -hmm. i have one called asante with a girl with these um bantu nuts all over her head and mm -hmm. it's all about us accepting the style that you you wore at the inauguration, at the inauguration you okay. know every t-shirt I have a man called Dapper Dan with the locks just flowing freely and it's all about the rise of black so you consciousness. So you thought it true. You Come, thought it all true. It didn't even take a lot of thought because I'm a person who is spiritually connected to myself. Mm -hmm. So it was just a way for me to express my spiritual nature through art and other form of art. As you express that spiritual nature through art and, 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 and other forms and of course we're talking about the clothing line yeah. and the art of itself. Yeah. Do you see this replacing Jackie Jacks the musician not at all I see this actually expanding the music brand because fashion is an industry that is worth billions upon billions of dollars worldwide mm -hmm. and this will help to propel the music even further because people who might not have consumed my music before will be wearing my my clothing mm -hmm. and the clothing and the music and fashion music and art it's all a part mm -hmm. of the Jackie Jacks brand mm -hmm. it's all of one consciousness Earlier you talked about, in a sense you touched on it, the mental uh, issues, mental the mental health. things, the mental health, yeah, the mental deficiencies mental that yeah, the pandemic created. Yeah. Um, how, because I know one of the things that drives any artist, not just Jackie Jacks, is the fact that you're standing there and you get to perform in the crowds, and the crowds cheering and making noise yeah. and moving you. Yeah. How have you dealt with the fact that, that I mean, you, you talked about in terms of the finances and so on. How have you dealt with the fact that, oh, I can no longer, because some people, it's a way of making them be assured of themselves as, as, yeah. as, as performing artists. Yeah. How, do you, how did you deal with the fact that, hey, I can't stand in front of hundreds or thousands of people and have them cheer me on and let them move me to yeah. sing so that I can move them. How have you dealt with that? Well, you, it, when you remove the performing aspect from a performing artist you're left with an artist without the ability to perform mm -hmm. so it's basically one of my limbs have been removed mm -hmm. and it's a physical trauma I would say because it's something that I have to navigate with self-care mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. 
and it's also a spiritual trauma in a sense um people think trauma is so dangerous and trauma is just something that affects you on a deep level that it leaves an energetic mark on you or it takes up some space energetically inside of you and you need to find ways to shift it you know um so when that happened my heart broke my heart really broke for a long time because who wants to lose you know their arm or their left arm or their right hand arm and mm -hmm. you feel now that you have to find new ways to to function, function yeah. and to be i would sing every single day in my house loudly i remember when the lockdown hit in march i didn't sing until probably august i didn't realize i wasn't singing at all and I am a bird. I, I sing. I'm a songbird. I, I sing. I met you singing. Yes, you met, I met you singing. <laughs> you know, so I felt like the cage bird. And I, when I sang for the first time, I started to cry because I didn't realize how hard this pandemic hit me. It made me kind of lose myself for a while. Mm -hmm. I forgot who I was for a while, you know. Yeah. Um, however, putting God, everything into con context again and yeah. God has been my saving grace because I would pray about everything and everything I pray for mm -hmm. is answered. You know, God will come in the form of friends, supportive friends who will reach out now, you all right? How are you doing, you know? So you did get that. I yeah. got the support and thank God I have really great friends, caring people who are not just interested in you when you're popping I is Jackie Jacks in the limelight, but when you're also behind the mm -hmm. stage in the darkness. All right, before we have to take a quick break, Jackie, I want you to talk about that lovely bag that you have there because you're talking mm -hmm. and I know you forgot about it cool. yes tell them about the bag <laughs> <laughs> this bag is made in Guyana by Cramonage. Mm -hmm. Cramonage is um, a fashion designer mm -hmm. a fashion boutique uh, run by Mark Juner it mm -hmm. the name of the brand is his name backward okay. so Mark Juner is an, um, a fantastic designer and a friend of mine mm -hmm. he lives right now in Turkine mm -hmm. and he has been designing for a long time okay. but his designs are ready to wear retail clothing that you don't see anywhere mm -hmm. you look you, you look like a foreigner walking down in Guyana like Wonderful. <laughs> everybody wants to look like a foreigner walking down in Guyana but you look like your own self mm -hmm. you know you don't look like anybody else in his designs and I love this little ensemble thank you for highlighting it all right you're very welcome and viewers I'm um, a little later on in the month uh, or maybe next month um, we will have uh, Mr. Mark Juma on our program. Of course, this is the Malaika Ramsey Show. We'll take a quick break, and on the other side of the break, we'll chat some more with the one and only Jackie Jack. <laughs> show um let me just remind you i want to say thank you very much to our sponsors thus far of course the ad that you're seeing playing um that you saw a minute ago or so that's the big map we meals on wheels uh, of course uh, for those of you who may not have gotten the phone numbers and so i, I know you saw the, the the lovely dishes that they have to offer um you can call uh they also deliver you can call 694-0728 or 615-6557 the program also comes to you with a kind compliments of spring fresh purified drinking water. They deliver, of course, you know, they have water delivery services now. Um, they deliver in East Ramveld, Lamaha Springs, and Lamaha Gardens. You can call 669-1001. And the other sponsor, Designs Royal, they specialize in designing and printing uh, business cards, badges, that's ID badges. 
um, flyers, posters, tickets, brochures, banners, certificates, invitations, and calendars. So you can give them a call at 669-1009, and that is uh, Designs Royal. If you'd like to advertise on our program, you can send an email to the Malaika Ramsey dot show at gmail.com or you can also send an email there if you know of anyone who would want to be a guest, if you yourself would want to be, if you think you'd make an interesting guest on our program or you want something highlighted, drop us an email and we will decide how it goes. Well, once again, thank you very much for tuning into this very first uh, program, this premiere program of uh, the Malika Ramsey show. Now I'm back to our fabulous guest, Miss Jackie Jones. Yeah, <laughs> Jackie, I mean, we did it in in, in, in reverse style. Yeah. Now, songbird, recording artist, artist, clothing line, I mean, oh, she has me feeling some sort of inadequate. Not here. at all. <laughs> Don't ever. How did Jackie Jack start in music? Since I was five, I knew I would be a singer. I would oh. tell people, um, <laughs> um, a lady reminded me, I, I was at my mom's nursing school, I was at, in nursery school, mm -hmm. and I was telling her, I'm going to be a singer like Whitney Houston, you know. I'm going to be a singer ah. like Whitney Houston. So I always knew I wanted to be a singer. Mm -hmm. But I also had these other talents and gifts, mm -hmm. you know, these other abilities. I'm a, a teacher in my prime. I was 11, and a girl heard me singing, my neighbor at the time, from my bedroom, she was 23. Mm -hmm. She was like, you have a very beautiful voice. Come to church. I was like, okay. I was very shy. You know, so she took me to church, and this girl just nurtured me. This lady, call it Nulan, she passed away, oh sadly. Mm -hmm. But she was the first person to see my talent. I was 11. She entered me into the regional gospel competition. I'm from the west side. Mm -hmm. And I placed second for the entire region. I was 12. You know, and I was competing against all the folks I knew. I was like, okay. You could handle this. This is for <laughs> me, I guess. You know, and throughout my life, I would be, I was very heavy in church growing up. And pastors would tell me over and over, you know, we, I have a vision of you on a globe. And I see you traveling the world and singing. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Because I already felt that, you know, but it, I was always getting signs. In high school, my um, English teacher, Sir Kester, I, I wrote a poem for school and he was like, this is really good. Let me enter you in this competition. I won the competition. You know, the guys for poetry competition, that's when I met Kojo McPherson, ah, Patamba Passad. Yes. I met the writers in yes. Guyana. Our talent. The talent. So Guyana. I was among these people at like 16. <laughs> then I, you know, I left there and I met so many teachers who kept showing me who I am mm -hmm. and pushing me into the spotlight. When I was 18, actually, that's when I came into the music business because Bonnie and Charmaine, um, mm -hmm. Blackman saw me singing at a funeral. <laughs> wow. I was singing at my uh, my old pastor's mom passed away, and they were like, "You have a very good voice. Would you like to sing for the Soka Monarch?" I was like, "Okay." And I recorded the song, and a year later, I am a finalist in the Soka Monarch competition. You know, so the oh, stadium people can me. remember that. I certainly can't. Festival can't time, remember. party time, festival yeah. time. Okay. <laughs> we got some singing here. As you're singing, I want to talk to you about the song, but of course you know how time flies yes. when, when, when you're having fun. Apart from your natural talent, yeah. what inspires you? God. Mm -hmm. uh, the most I got is my greatest inspiration because I learned everything that I know about myself now mm -hmm. by seeking the face of God. And when I looked for the face of God, I saw myself that I have always been what I'm looking for. So when I try to write, when I write music now, I don't even try anymore. I say, God, let me write with the hands of God. Let me think with the mind of God. And we, you know, we say God is love. So whatever comes out to me is love. It's loving in some way. It's compassionate. It has a message. You know, even the art that comes out of me is a manifestation of love. So I always say I'm fulfilling a higher purpose through my music, fashion, and art. <laughs> Malika, could I ask you a question? Sure. Uh, well, Jackie's starting to the interviewer tonight, but let's hear. I Jackie. really don't want to ask you this question <laughs> because when I posted on my Facebook earlier, I'm interviewing with Malika. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, "Oh my God, she's my absolute favorite." Oh my, How is I, it? I'm, I'm humbled. You, so people love you. How has it been for you being not being able to 
do this work that you are so wonderful at for such a long time? It's difficult because in my, when, I mean, you know, you start working even before your official career start. But when my official career began, this is, this is the place where I began. Channel 9? This is like, not the Channel 9, is the second home. Yeah. When I say this is the place, meaning television, yeah. talking to people. So it's, it's been a bit difficult, I miss it. But I remember long ago, uh, a, a media colleague, a former media colleague of mine said something to me and it never left me. He said... Because I remember when he had transitioned from one aspect of his life to another and he said that at times it's good to get off the train and watch it go and then decide which stop, when, when, which train that stops, which one you want to get on to after then. So I found that profound but I didn't un truly understand what he meant until I experienced it for myself. Yeah. It's disappointing. It's not peaches and cream. It's no, not a walk not in the all. park. But I, I, I will never forget that. At times, get off the train and let it go. And wait for all the trains. And then you, and you can take your time and decide which train you want to get on. Do you have an idea of what train you'll get on? Well, you're here now because I know you're back on this train. Wow. Where are you taking this train? You or have is to this wait train and see. <laughs> taking you? It's a we pleasure. You exactly have to wait and see. But I'm not going to let Jackie turn this interview into an interview. And you, you see how sneaky she is? You see, she just snuck that one in there and then she came back with a follow up question. Oh, huh. Thank you, Mike. Yes, Jackie. Um, <laughs> I, I mean, I, I think we're coming down to wrap up time. I, I guess the operator is going to give us a signal. Um, time flies when you're having fun. There's so much more I could talk to you about. Uh, one of the things a lot of people love you for, I mean, as life goes on, you get new people, you get new fans, you get younger people who did not know Jackie Jacks 10 years ago, who yeah. did not know Jackie Jacks five, yeah. years ago, five years ago. After the August uh, 2020 inauguration, I sat in a room with some people who clearly were never exposed to Jackie Jacks yeah. until the inauguration. Yeah. And you sang, and I was telling you earlier, you sang this song, Guyana, as though you were romancing Guyana, as though Guyana was a person, and you sang it with so much feeling. And people, there are some people up to now who believe that you are the original <laughs> singer of that song. Yeah. First thing I want you to do is give me just a quick line, maybe about 30 seconds of the yeah. song, and then tell me what inspired you to touch that song, because it is risky. You, 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 I saw that as a national song. Yeah. If you're going to come decades after, and you're going to touch a national yeah. song, and you're so successful at yeah. it, and you, and you made it your own, yeah. I want to hear the story behind that. I mean, in the little time that we have left, yeah. um, uh, just, just yeah, give them a, like a 30 seconds of the song. Okay, brevity is not my strong suit, but <laughs> <laughs> um, let me go. If I think about the ways you make me smile, I'd be standing here and smiling for a while. Guyana, Guyana, may the blessings of God never leave her shores. Oh, I wish she could sing the whole song. We could have about a minute, Jackie, in a minute. Yeah. Tell me, why did you touch that song? Why was why did you take such a big risk? And to be honest with you, Guyana needed this new version. Okay. It is a love letter to Guyana. Not just the people of Guyana, but the energy of this place. You know, the consciousness that is Guyana. All of the experiences we've been through from time from before independence, before you know, we were able to liberate ourselves it's all in the consciousness of Guyana and this time our nation is going through a process of healing and me being a messenger I am a nurturer and a teacher at heart mm -hmm. and that song was me using my gift to add to the healing to contribute to the healing of this nation you know what I mean? the song came to me the melodies, every single thing came to me and I was just the humble vessel for it, and I'm grateful that God could use me for such an, a wonderful feat. And Guyana is grateful that He did use you for such a wonderful feat because I mean, it's 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 all everything else that you've sung. This just came and you just took it and you just to me in my mind you just wiped everything else out. I'm not taking value from the other songs that you sing. 
everything, but this was so beautiful. It's so a Jackie, new beginning. I, 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 new beginning. I know this is also a new beginning for you. You were talking. I was. There's so many other things I could just talk to. I'll her come about, back and another show. Come back. Yes, <laughs> she'll come back. I want to take this opportunity to thank you very much for being the first guest. You are certainly a blessing to our show for being the first guest on the Malika Ramsey show. Um, everything else has happened here on. Now it's on your shoulders. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so and I have a team helping me to carry it. Wonderful. You know, <laughs> and I want to thank you, Malika, because you are such a bright light mm. in the world and every time that you stand in your purpose your light shines to those around you and you help to turn other people people's light okay. on oh. i'm happy in a sense that this mask is on so people can't see that my face is changing color i'm blushing but i'm so humble we're happy humble. to have you back thank you very much dear thank you for including me <laughs> all right great wonderful to have you viewers unfortunately that is all the time we have with you this week on the malika ramsey show um i wanted to share uh, 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 the meaning of, of mental health, taking care of your mental health according to the WHO, but we don't have time to do it. But I will just want to take a quick couple of seconds to say, take care of your mental health. And I'm doing that because I remember one of the, one of uh, our viewers, of, or I should say back then she was a potential viewer, and she reminded me that the 10th, I think it's Sunday the 10th of October is World Mental Health Day. And she wanted me to remind the people to take care of your, your mental health. And you know, I'll use this as a final word segment. Whatever you do, find ways to cope with what is happening in life. You may not believe that you're stressed out, or that you're depressed, but sometimes it sneaks up on us. Sunday is World Mental Health Day. Please take some time, think about yourselves, and make taking care of yourself meditation. a practice. Med right, meditation, if it's something that you like eating, if it's something that you like watching, if you're a workout junkie like me, whatever it is, swim. so that you can, Jackie's saying swim, whatever it is to keep you coping and to keep you alive and healthy and well, please do it, especially in honor of World Mental Health Day and in honor of all those persons who we have lost because they were suffering mentally we did not know and we did not reach out to help them again thank you very much to all our sponsors thanks to jackie for showing up thanks to, that, to jackie's team because i know she has a team working uh, behind her and thank you for letting us into your home join me again right here on hbtv channel 9 next friday for another edition of the malika ramsey show in the meantime please follow me on social media facebook to be exact if you're now joining and you missed this conversation it will be loaded to youtube subsequently and then shared uh, to facebook also subscribe to my youtube channel like share and again thanks for having us in your home i in your homes i am malika ramsey mcpherson and this has been the malika ramsey show